Alright, what's going on guys? G-Dog Casey here, and welcome to a new Final Fantasy XIV series. I gotta be quick about this. I'm sure you guys already know what this is. This is the first trial in the game for A Realm Reborn. And what we're gonna be doing is the same thing we're doing with the Dungeon series. We're going through every single trial in the game. I can't show you right now because I'm in a trial, but we're gonna be going through them. I think I'm confident that I'm at a place in the game where... I should be able to get all the beginning trials done as well as some of the more complicated ones um, and still leave myself time in order to complete some of the trials that I have yet to complete which is mostly the extreme ones and uh, you know we'll get to them when we get to them but I feel like this is something I should have started a long time ago and uh, I'm starting it now so we're gonna be tanking through all of the trials and uh, this first one here is going to be relatively simple, but for completionist's sake, we're going to be doing it. It is Ifrit, and I'm going to do my best to explain the mechanics as we go along from a tanking perspective, uh, from the Paladin at least. Some of these guys might be relatively new as well, since it's the first trial. They're probably watching, watching the cutscene. And you guys shouldn't be mad at people for watching cutscenes, especially on big trials that have huge story elements. Um, it's something that I think... Uh, the developers of Final Fantasy XIV have done well in the new expansion is it looks to me because I'm actually just going through all of these trials now I'm almost done uh, Heavensward in terms of the main story quest where am I anyway in, in that right now the beast that mourned the heart of the mountain so this is not really trial specific but you guys can maybe get an idea of how close I am I think I have like 10 to 15 quests left in the whole game but anyway, in terms of trials, uh, you know, they've done a pretty good job avoiding the big long cutscenes before a trial, and then instead they'll give you a big long cutscene at the end of the previous quest, so you can watch that and enjoy it without ruining anyone else's experience. Um, and then they put another big long cutscene at the end of the trial, where you're also not really affecting anyone else. Whereas in this case, you can see these guys are watching their cutscene, and uh, it's making us have to wait. But you guys can't be mad about that. These uh, cutscenes are pretty damn awesome. And here we go. So some of these people are pretty new. So we might have an interesting experience here. But we're going to go ahead and pull Ifrit over to the edge of the arena here. You, and it's exactly because of that <laughs> cone of fire that he just spewed out there. Unfortunately, our entire party got hit by it right off the start. So that's not a good start here for our healer. But we're doing okay. We're going to use some of our buffs here. We don't even have Protect on right now. <laughs> so, you know, we're not going to complain. We're just going to go ahead and play the game and do our best without it. We are being healed, so I can't really complain too much. So basically, it's incredibly simple here. Keep Ifrit pointed away from your party so that that big cone of fire attack does not affect everyone in the group. Dodge these AoE attacks here that our uh, healer got hit by. Again, new players might not quite recognize exactly what's going on here. And one thing I'm actually a tad nervous about is when we get Ifrit to about half health, he's going to put a nail in the middle of the arena, and the DPS need to kill that nail as fast as possible. And it has to be the DPS, because, and it cannot be the tank, because if I do it, then Ifrit's going to start burning everyone to a crisp with that, cone, uh, that conal fire attack. So I'm keeping an eye on it here. Uh, trying to see when the nail spawns. It's usually right around 50% health. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to target it. And I'm going to try to get the team to kill the nail. Kill the nail quick. I don't know if they're going to be able to handle this. Um, this is going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, there we go. Kill the nail, guys. Wouldn't it be great for a, uh, you know, a first episode in a new series for the Trials for Final Fantasy XIV if we were to wipe in the first, uh, the first attempt here of Ifrit. And I think we might, because we're not killing that nail fast enough. You know what? They need my help. Nope, too late. We're all dead. We're all dead. Yeah, rip. So we have to get all DPS on that nail as soon as it spawns. Or else he wipes us. I can't do it or else his AoE will hurt the whole party. Alright, there we go. 
archer has pulled Ifrit, and in doing so has condemned his party to fire damage. Is that the right way to use that term? I don't know. But we'll go ahead and use our abilities. We'll use everything that we can that will help us here. We just need to keep this guy facing away from the party, as already stated. And then hopefully they'll be able to take out that nail ASAP. And that's pretty much the only mechanic of this uh, this trial. Avoid the big, gigantic AoEs that he'll spawn on particular party members. I think he can do it to the tank as well, so we should keep our eyes out as well. It's not only the DPS and healers who have to watch for it. So yeah. So unfortunately this healer is uh, definitely a beginner. And that's okay. We'll do our best to carry him through. It's one of those things that, uh, you know, can be tough to figure out early in the game when you're a caster is trying to get out of AoE blast and also get your heals off at the same time. One thing you don't want to be doing is stacking the party up, although I suppose it's not a huge deal. It just means that more people have to move out of the way should Ifrit decide to, uh, to put a gigantic AoE attack on you. So I'm keeping an eye out for that nail. There it is. Slash uh, P, kill nail. Alright. And we're just keeping them over here. There we go. Much better. Although we're taking some pretty serious damage here. So we're going to pop Convalescence as well. That will help our healer give us some more HP through the heals. And it looks like they're going to get it this time. I hope. Oh, I don't know. It wasn't dead. Are we going to die again? Eek. Yeah, we died again. Gotta be a bit quicker. God, what are you guys doing? Okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm trying to help you here. I used uh, provoke in an inefficient manner there. I tried to provoke and then get in to attack him, but I got knocked back. Well, this is definitely going to be, uh, you know, it's actually pretty good. For a first episode, because it just sort of shows you why these episodes can be beneficial for new players. New players do still exist. Believe it or not, some people might actually have trouble with it right here, so. Hopefully, the next group of new players who have to, uh. butt heads with Ifrit will be able to find this exact video, and it will help them get through it. a little worrisome here because the healer is definitely having trouble keeping up. So I'm using Convalescence to give him uh, a bit of an edge. There's a nail. Kill a nail. Looks like they're on it. Okay. It's got to die. That's actually something I wasn't exactly sure of. I wasn't sure if maybe if you like almost killed it if it might be good enough, but no. It's literally you got to kill the nail. Uh, it's at least not always a great idea. Oh, did we get it? It looks like the nail's dead, but I am in such low health, I'm gonna die. Ugh, okay, no, we survived. Alright. Barely, but we did. Bring them back over here. Now there's gonna be more AoEs to dodge. Whoops, I'm hitting the wrong buttons here. There are gonna be more AoEs to dodge. that and then they usually circle the outside of the arena i'm kind of preempting that yeah okay there we go i thought i was right and our healer's dead no can we go man mode here and survive and kill this guy come on ninja you and me <clears throat> lord shenrob will you be my boo and help me through this
Get ready for the outskirts. Might as well just put myself in position right off the bat. Make sure our ninja doesn't take damage, because I think now, even if I were to die, he would probably be able to get enough damage in for us to survive. Wait, I should be using, uh, not ethers, not ethers, not, sure, elixirs, why not? Oh, we did it. <laughs> I should have had that on my hotbar, but I did not. So anyway, there you go, guys. That's going to be the first episode, killing Ifrit, the first trial of the game. And as you can see, sometimes you can have an interesting experience with that. I can't even res these guys, so I guess it's just going to have to be on them. But we'll give uh, Shen Rob here the accommodation, and we'll go ahead and back out. And that's it. That's the first trial of the game. Relatively simple, but sometimes simple mechanics are not always simple for everybody. So that's why I make these videos. So hopefully people will find them and they'll have a better chance against Ifrit and against some of the other trials. Because trust me, guys, the trials is where the difficulty lies in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, specifically the extremes, which we're still quite a long way away, as I can show you here. We just did the Bowl of Embers. We have all of these ready to do as well as these ones. So, it's gonna be quite the ride here, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, to show you guys how to defeat each and every one of these. It might take a while. There might be some weeks where I cannot release an episode because I'm just not ready to complete that trial, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway guys, that's gonna do it. Hope you enjoyed, and be ready, because we are not only launching the tanking trial guide, but we will be doing the healing one as well. So I hope you're excited, and we'll see you later. Bye.